Hey everybody, I'm going to take a look today at the latest addition to the Arcade Classics Mini Arcade series by Bridge Direct Basic Fun. This is Rampage number 10 of the series, and it says Try Me. You push a button, and it turns on just like that. You really can't, it's really hard to reach a joystick or anything. You could kind of do it. You can see you got the uh, side art from the original arcade game. The other side is not a window. It just shows uh, kind of some basic information, and the back looks pretty decent. It says, Use your mutant powers to destroy the city. Punch, jump, and climb and bring down buildings. Destroy tanks, soldiers, helicopters attacking you, which I just read out of order. Look for food in the rubble, but be careful what you eat. And we have a nice top as well. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see how it holds up in place today. Okay, so here's the unit itself. You can see nice full LCD screen. Very nice. Got some nice stickers on it on the front side. Again, this is the uh, original artwork from the arcade. Wasn't fancy, just these green lines. Not too impressive. I kind of wish they put something different. This runs on three AA batteries pre-installed. So if you find one of these years from now, brand new still in the box, there's a possibility that there's corrosion inside, even though it's brand new because the batteries had just been left there. And uh, yeah, so that's basically the unit itself. You have an on off switch. You have a volume button. You have three volume levels, soft, medium, loud, and you can mute it. So you just keep uh, pressing the button until you reach your desired level. And here is the joystick. As a, again, this is kind of a cheap feeling joystick, but it works well. You have a start and pause button, a jump button, and a punch button. So let's go ahead and let's, uh, how about I put, put this down here, zoom in a bit, and we will play some. This is actually based on the NES version of the game, not the arcade version of the game. So uh, I'm kind of disappointed that uh, the NES version isn't my favorite, but it does okay, uh, I guess, for Rampage. It actually does what better as a mini arcade game, something you keep on your desk. So let's go ahead and play a little bit of this, try and play around the camera. Um, one thing about this version I don't like one of my strategies when I play Rampage is to punch holes up the side and then go down and hit the edges. You can't do that in the NES version. You can either do one or the other. One nice thing, though, is that there is no flicker in this version. There was on the NES, and that is pretty cool. You can continue as much as you want this game as long. It does have like a kind of an ending, not a real ending, but you can complete it. And you get just kind of a the end screen, but it's very long. It's going to take you hours to do this. One bummer is when you do continue, you cannot choose a different character. So it, um, you can't switch in between. And of course, you can't play with two players. But I mean, this is this is not too not too shabby at all. This is somewhat impressive. This fits well if you're again a fan of our of uh, Rampage. I am. I do wish it was the arcade version. This is available. I got this at my Walmart for. Um, $20. And I guess it's hard to find because on eBay, people are scalping them for $40 a piece. So, you know, if you, if you, if you're lucky, it'll be at your Walmart. It really just depends if you like Rampage, the game, this again, decent version of it. The uh, one thing, I don't know if you can see right, right there. Let's see if I can, there's like a little piece of dust in this screen. You can kind of see it on this green building. Some of the screens I noticed when I was looking at the different machines aren't the greatest. Um, it's full color. It's nice, but like I've seen some scratches and some dust inside on new machines. So that's not cool. So you might want to be picky about that if you're picky like me. But there you go. This is Rampage, the Bridge Direct mini arcade game. It works. Yeah. Can you see the dust right there in the middle of that hole? It works pretty well. It's kind of fun, and it makes a good conversation star uh, starter. Go ahead, click like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time on the next No Swear Gamer video.